that right. was an episode. Yeah, that was, I would say that's pretty pretty good for a 100th episode. Um, oh, yeah. The fact that they did that whole... It went places I wasn't expecting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like the fact in the beginning of the episode where they sh- where Eggman was just watching like old recap videos of what he messed up on, but it was still really nice uh, just just seeing like a lot of the, those previous episodes. And it's just like, man... Holy crap, we came far, didn't we? You know? And then Eggman as a sure whole have. being able to, like, kind of analyze what he's pretty much messed up on. I thought, like, you know, each new episode alliteration doesn't really continue from the next. It, like, breaks off at certain points. And certain episodes episodes that were shown further ahead, like, uh, I'm still Are a little usually confused. referenced? Yeah. And it's just, like, some episodes just get ignored. And it's just, like, huh? I wonder how, I wonder how all this correlates together, you know? Exactly. So yeah, uh, good consistency. Uh, like we say, con- continuity yeah. like is is great. I love seeing like things that are referenced and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. I I um I I knew when the, when the title was "Don't Make Me Angry." We we're gonna go Hulk with yeah. it. Yeah, I, and I, I even knew that too. It's just like okay, so this might be a Hulk related episode, and I like that. You know, it it did kind of the opposite of that because, you know, that was too expected to see, oh, Eggman's going to get huge and buff. I knew they had to do some sort of tweak to it. And what better tweak than a cute little fuzzy cat, neon cat slash Twilight Sparkle Eggman. (laughs) It's it's literally the best direction it could have gone with it because I was I was just like you thinking okay they're gonna do the Incredible Hulk thing where you know Eggman becomes this unstoppable monster and they gotta calm him down but nope they were like let's flip this trope upside down let's turn him into something absolutely adorable something marketable something we can make a toy of and put it to <laughs> Russ Walmart you know buy it at your local you know Christmas yeah, is coming yeah. up you know, Amazon. Gonna- you know, we'll mm-hmm. give you twenty percent off if you buy this with a snapback and a uh, some shoes. You know, <laughs> exactly. Amazon Prime it. Hey, come on. <laughs> oh, you dude, know you yeah. wanna. It'd be op. Watch. Uh, it's... Aaron Weber is gonna be like, all right. So you remember the hundredth episode, right? Well, you can get your own <laughs> plushie. <laughs> get your own Eggman purple purple. I don't. What what do we even call that thing? I, purple. Yeah, there, was there a name for that? Like, you know, I... that would be like a perfect question to ask. Like, Alan. Um, Alan Denton or Bill Freiberger if yeah one of the writers of the show would yeah. probably know what that t- particular transformation of Eggman is called isn't it, it, isn't it kind of weird also when you think about it that mm-hmm. that this episode also subverted the other tropes of the other episodes which is um, instead of having Eggman be the antagonist for the episode he actually was the hero of the yeah. end of the episode yeah and that was another thing I was going to talk about is like Eggman did something right <laughs> not doing something right but more or less being the hero of the episode and yeah you don't get that actually i think this was the only episode in the entire series that we saw that i think it i can't i'm pretty sure this was the only episode i think there were a few episodes where i think he assisted you know yeah or he was like a major help in solving the problem like uh oh wait oh Huh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, uh, it, it's I, it's it's just great to see Eggman legitimately have like a moment where he legitimately cares about someone, even if it's just for an episode. Yeah, it just makes him seem more less of a like you know the village villain. Yeah, more or yeah, less like absolutely. the villain, like the village antagonist. He, you know, sometimes he'll show up. You know, he'll just be shopping around. Sometimes he'll show up to destroy things. You never know. If yeah, Eggman. exactly. He's like a jack of all trades, basically. Exactly. He's not. He's not truly evil. He's. He's just misunderstood. <laughs> yeah, and he just wants attention, like everyone else. Exactly. Yeah, and you know when you really think about it, he. I I, I said this before, but he kind of draws parallels to Ice King from like Adventure Time. Oh yeah. Where you know everybody kind of treats him as this outcast mm-hmm. and stuff like that. No one really likes to see him right. show up because Eggman will usually you know make trouble, but like. He just wants to be loved and noticed, it seems. At least in this canon, Sonic Boom canon, Eggman seems really like he wants to be loved. But he just goes about it the wrong way. Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, we all have our own ways of showing affection. It's just that Eggman's... Exactly. Very... Some some ways better than others, (laughs) but, you know. (laughs) I absolutely agree. Uh, There was something else I really wanted to talk about. Um... I can't seem to find it. Uh, 
God dang it. Oh, I can't remember. I just watched the episode. <laughs> I, I, hate, I really hate when that happens. It's like it's one of the maybe... downfalls that happens with doing these live reactions. Is just like, oh, I'm totally going to talk about that after the video. And then we talk about other things and we don't even go to the topic. It's just like, uh, oh, it just slips your mind. Yeah. Ugh. It, uh, yeah. Um, like, uh, let, maybe we just like talk about other points. Maybe it'll pop up again in your head. Yeah, like, yeah. um, there, there is one nitpick I have with the episode. Oh. As, as always, I got I got to give a negative yeah, of course, here. Of course, of course, um, classics. I, I, I did in particular. Maybe I missed it, but I didn't particularly care for how the village was like antagonizing Eggman. Like the one, the one time oh, yeah. he's like yeah. legit. Like <laughs> I don't need to be angry right now, and everybody's like really screwing up him, making him mad and stuff like that. Yeah, it's I like, mean, like sometimes the villagers mm. are, are they're they're. I, I feel like they're they're just for the gag. And then when something actually goes down or when something doesn't even need to show up, it's just like, why, why are you doing this? Yeah. You realize he's going to get you guys back later. <laughs> oh, yeah. You That's like, yeah, exactly. Each other. <laughs> what, what, you, what you do to him now? He's going to pay you back tenfold. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> in a, in a, yeah, in a way it works like that. Uh, I think the thing I wanted to talk about was Beth. Um. I like the fact that, like, out of that entire village, you know, antagonizing him, Beth was just like, yeah, this doesn't seem okay, you know? Like, so yeah. Like, just the fact that she reached out to Eggman, knowing that Eggman is, you know, the big bad doctor right. that, you know. I, that was a very nice moment, I agree. Yeah, and it's just, we, we see these tender moments in Sonic Boom, uh, but, like, that was probably, it's probably going to stick in my head the most. Uh, just because of- yeah because I, I agree that was a really nice moment like like again like like it, it's pointed out that you know Eggman does terrorize the village a lot and everything and uh, sure I get it but it's like at the same time I like that Beth yeah Beth is in a way this canon's cream the rabbit because let's mm-hmm. let's let's face it yeah that other rabbit girl she's no cream <laughs> she's just she's uh, no cream she's peaches <laughs> oh yeah that's right I forgot you uh Nicknamed her that. <laughs> I gave her uh, an unofficial name. Yeah, it's like uh, <laughs> she ended up. What is she like? Tech savvy, super social. Oh media. yeah, but that's pretty much. And I and I like that episode too because I know a lot of that might have went over a few of the viewers' heads because they're just like, oh well, I don't get it. Like you're doing, you guys, everyone does this. Like especially once the uh, once I got an iPhone. Oh man, I was it. I was done. I was always on my phone twenty four seven. Uh, of course, yeah. Trying to just kind of move around with everything, but try to figure out the mechanics of everything because that's typically what I like to do when I, whenever I get something new. Um, but just social media as a whole and how it's you know portrayed our lives and how much it's benefited, and not only that, but also you know ca- cause a few hindrances with being able to understand oh, yeah. a newer generation. That whereas you know older generations they didn't we didn't have social media we just we go outside if i see you hey what's up exactly Otherwise, outside was our social media <laughs> exactly you know what else we did you know the mini games that we played kickball dog oh ball, yeah before candy sick. crush saga and angry birds we had kickball and <laughs> jump off the swings and break your leg one of my personal favorite <laughs> playground games oh my god <laughs> <laughs> no one understands <laughs> this younger generation you see they don't understand the fact that you said jump off the swings i have did it so many times <laughs> you can relate <laughs> you know <laughs> dude how I many times swing on the swings going mm-hmm. all the way out like a good good maybe like five feet in the air and like my shirt would get stuck <laughs> And I would just be like, "Oh, dude, oh, that's the worst!" <laughs> <laughs> you oh, jump and like you feel like instead of going forward, you feel that momentum just stop in the air. You're like, yeah. "Oh no! I was like, oh no! no bro, I'm going bro, down!" Oh no! no. <laughs> <laughs> and you just smash it to yeah. the floor real hard. Oh, and you're man. like, "Okay, like my yeah, <laughs> just gonna lay down for a bit." Oh man, those those were the good days. Those the, I, I oh. will never forget my uh, my bruises. Oh yeah, I still got some. I still have some back yeah. from back in the day. Yeah, I'm just I shocked some... that I didn't break any bones doing like goofy stuff like that, jumping off swing. I actually had a friend that climbed a fence 
and then fell off and broke his arm. And I was just thinking, like, I've done that multiple times. I've never, like, snapped my arm in two because, like, his arm was, like, the opposite direction. I'm like... Oh, no. He got the he got the Tetris arm. Yes, he did. Oh, my God. It was, like, it was like gross. it became a Tetris brick, like the L shape. Yeah. Just, oh, like, it's bending yes. the wrong way. Oh. If you can high-five your elbow, you done goof, man. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. All right. So, I guess we'll have to end it here because the chat's getting a little restless here. Um, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. So, if I were to give this episode a rating, i give it, like, 8.5, a solid 8.5. Me, I will give this one a B-. minus. B-, minus. B-. Minus. All right, I like that. I like it. It, was, it, was, it was good, but it wasn't bad, you know? Exactly. It was, like, in between. It was, actually, it was more good than bad than a few things that could have been tweaked. But I don't want to get too much into it because we need to get going here. Uh, Wolfie, thanks for um, thanks for the collab again. And thanks for actually jumping on live stream with me during this collab because I do I, – I miss this. Uh, oh, I do want to ask you one thing. Uh, oh, yeah. Sure, have go you ahead. played Cuphead? Like, have you beaten it or – Oh, oh, have I? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm just saying because I'm definitely – I, I want to get the game and actually play it on stream, but I do it. This, do like, it. I, I would. I would rather have like a a, a second player because that game. I played through like one level and I'm like, yeah, I need. I need another player. There's just no. Way oh, sadly, play. it's it's not actually online. It's only local. Oh, are you serious? No. How is that not online? I thought I on PC know. that you could do like co-op with like another Steam player, but I guess not. Dang it. Uh Yeah. No. But yeah, I could. Yeah, if you already have it, shoot, I keep going, dude. That game yeah. is, mm, yeah, it's I, great. I, I all the memes and people are like, oh yeah, you beating this? Like, dude, the game is hard. And on top of that, I haven't actually had a chance to, you know, be able to sit down. I'm like, all right, this is gonna happen. Um, I've exactly. Been mostly preparing for the Pokemon, the new Pokemon Ultra Sun is what I'm gonna be playing through. But I'm breeding a team for for the stream so I, i'm gonna try and focus on a lot of these games especially during um thanksgiving break but right i will definitely if something else comes up and sh- either it be like show wise or like gaming wise we definitely i'll definitely hit you up because i would love to do some co-op oh yeah we we gotta do this more you know oh, chat yeah. loves it i love it oh, yeah. boom brothers boom titans we we gotta do this oh yeah Absolutely. But yeah, definitely. I appreciate you having me on, man. It has been a blast. Oh yes, for the hundredth episode. Yes, it has been, and I hope that you know eventually one of the writers or even the show producer sees this episode. Hey, you guys are doing a phenomenal job. There's no reason not for a season three. Please make it happen. Squid absolutely. Would love you guys even more. I would fly myself out to LA and be like, guys, this needs to happen. If I could join the chairman. Uh, just the the staff or just go to like some sort of meeting and be like I'm here to voice my opinion off of my channel and the channel agrees <laughs> that there should be a season three if I could do we, that oh man we we are putting a petition on the table from the boom brothers themselves brought to you by the hundreds and thousands of voices who love sonic boom here you go yes well said all right well guys I'm gonna take a small break um stay tuned there will be I think we're watching like the last four episodes. Uh, One of them was an Eggman family vacation. I think there was another episode after that. And then I think it's the two-parter, I believe. Yeah, that's the finale. Oh, okay. All right. All right, I'm going to take this small break. You guys stay tuned. I'm going to throw on some tunes for you. Uh, Again, Wolfie, thank you so much for joining me on the stream. um, Absolutely. Thanks for having me. me. There's going to be a lot more. A lot more. Bye, everyone.